morning everybody so i was meant to hang out with my friend today and i'm disappointed because i was expecting a delivery this morning and then only half of the delivery turned up so now i can't leave to go see my friend because they might turn up as i was saying um yeah so one of the deliveries turned up today and it was meant to be two boxes of iv fluids which we got they're sitting in my hall um and it's also meant to be my weekly delivery of TPN stuff, so my Churlock and the actual TPN. Anyway, only the fluids turned up, so now I'm like stuck in the house. Can't leave because they might turn up. And I, because I was like, I rang them because I was like, well, sorry, I'm just closing the blinds because I've got a bit of a headache today, the light sensitivity. Yeah, so I rang them and I was like, like, what's going on? Like, what's what's the situation? and the woman was like oh they should be there by 4 p.m and i was like great well chloe has work at half four so it's like i can't leave here at four like she'll be leaving to go to work so that just kind of defeats the whole purpose of us hanging out today which is frustrating because you guys know i love that girl but oh well i'm seeing her on sunday anyway and we're hanging out next week so that's fine but it's just annoying that they didn't deliver everything together having one of those days guys why is that not focusing it says 3.3 some of you guys got confused because basically i work in millimoles um is the value of what like blood sugar is measured in where i live somebody had a real go at me saying you couldn't have a blood sugar of 25 you'd be dead and it was like it wasn't even 25, it was like 27. And it was 2.7, not 27. It's been weird recently, my blood sugar. Like, I've been getting symptomatic when it's not even that bad. And then when it's like 3.3, like it feels like it should be higher than that. But then if I leave it a few minutes, I'll feel like death. <laughs> but then other times it can be barely under four and I'll feel like really, really bad. And it's not even that low. I don't know, blood sugar's confusing. And I'm still waiting on my delivery, so. So I finally decided to get dressed um, and my dressing started kind of peeling up, up a bit so that's why I've put the tape. I'm hoping that I, I've, I have a feeling that I'm going to start reacting to this but I need it to stick down and I didn't want to put another Tegaderm over the top because recently I've been reacting to the Tegaderm and my skin has just gotten used to this and it hasn't reacted for the last two days but all the other days that I've had it on it has. So I didn't want to put a fresh Tegaderm and then it start reacting again so we're going to chance it with this tape. If the tape starts to get too itchy or I get really rashy or whatever, I can, I've got like a bunch of other tapes that I can try. But yeah, I've got to tell you guys. So, but you know that guide wire that the hospital gave me to try and get my tube to like unkink? So I sh I've been using it and after I use it, it works for like about a few hours, like semi works, almost like what it used to work like, my tube I mean, and then it stops working again. However, yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know, it was a few days ago, I was playing around with the guide wire and I kind of got my tube working better than what it was so I can drain like mostly liquids but if I have anything that's like solid, for example, like crisps and I try and drain that, it won't work but if I stick to just like soup, clear liquids, like tea, juice, that kind of thing that all drains fine and bile drains fine so I've got it semi-working again so I'm hoping that I can hold off for a tube change a little bit longer. I know I need one anyway because it's been in more than six months, but I'm due, like, I am due a tube change. But if I can hold off for a little bit longer because I just can't be bothered to deal with general anaesthetic right now and like that weak recovery period where I always, I always feel so rough afterwards. So the longer I can put it off, the better. <laughs> Still not great, but it will do for a little bit longer. Well, it's finally here, the delivery, which means I've got to unpack it. So I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can because I'm not feeling the best. Also, how cute is this picture of Tom and I? It's an old one. It was actually when we first met and before I was um, diagnosed with POTS and I, I passed out in a public toilet and broke my arm or my wrist. So I had this bright pink fluoro cast on. Don't know why I chose that colour, but we hadn't been dating that long. I think we'd only been dating about a year and a half here. I just realised it's it's actually a throwback Thursday too. I just finished editing my vlog as well, so I'm glad that's all out the way. 
open these bad boys up. Wow. This is so cold. Like normally it's really hot because it's been summer. Like I haven't been on TPN in the winter. This is freezing. Normally the ice packs are completely melted, but they're still really, really hard. They're still like hard ice packs and it's freezing. Did not think this through. I might have to invest in some TPN gloves to keep my hands from freezing. Apparently I missed a delivery today and I got ooh, a message from the post office telling me to pick something up. So I'll have to go tomorrow, but I'm too tired to go today. Always eating. No, not. <laughs> I just caught you, brother. Red-handed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that boy. So, guys, I ended up putting extra tegaderm over it anyway, but as you can see, it's still reacting, like, to the tegaderm and the tape. Don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's not really showing very well in the lighting, but it's driving me mad. So I'm probably gonna have to do a dressing change tonight Because that my friends is not gonna hold It's skin tight though Here, so it's not being exposed, but this is definitely lifting up. So This is kind of what my cell reactions look like. They range from Just a rash like this, which it just looks like a big red mark at the moment But if you run your hand over it, it's like bumpy like a rash like it's lifted between this, hives, and then facial swelling of the eyes, lips, throat, all that kind of thing. And that's why I have my EpiPens and other mast cell medications. But this is a very, very, very basic and mild one. It's just itchy, is all. Itchy and burny. Hey guys, so it's Friday morning. Well, it's Friday afternoon, actually. I have spent the morning having the roughest morning ever. Like my pot has been terrible, so... <laughs> I thought I'd take advantage of today and kind of film like a day in the life with pots. I want to do a proper one of these like for my main channel but I thought I'd just put in a few bits and bobs in today's vlog because a lot of you guys ask me like how I deal with my pots and for the most part it's pretty well controlled with medication and IV fluids um, however I still get the odd day where I'm having a really bad day even with those things. My lying down heart rate is about 110 between 105 to 110 which isn't too bad but the second I move to do anything it shoots straight up. I use an Apple watch to keep track of my heart rate. At the moment I need to go and take my meds. I might, well it's afternoon but I need to take my lunch meds so I take bisoprolol, evabradine and midodrine and they're, bisoprolol is a beta blocker, evabradine is, it works similar to a beta blocker but it, it channels different parts of the heart. Um, it's like a node blocker or something. I can't remember the actual term for it, but um, Yeah, it's a bit different to a beta blocker, but it basically essentially does the same thing um, And then the midodrine I use for blood pressure um, Now it's not a blood pressure hiring or lowering tablet. It's a stabilizing tablet So wherever your blood pressure is it's meant to bring it to a stable level Those are the, the three main medications that I take that I can't do without I take other ones on the side um, depending on like things that are happening um, like extra beta blockers things like that but those are the three main ones that do not change and as far as dosage go I take five milligrams bisoprolol in the morning five in the afternoon um, and then I take 7.5 in the morning of the evabradine and 7.5 in the evening and then I take 10 milligrams of the midodrine three times a day. What I, what I don't like is I don't like passing out when I'm home alone. I mean it happens. I don't like doing it because I'm scared that if something happens to me I'm like what if I hit my head and I don't wake up or something and no one's gonna know. Usually if I'm like this bad I always text Tom so he calls me like periodically just to check on me and then obviously if I didn't reply so I guess it's not too bad because I don't like to call because he worries so much and I just don't want him to worry. A big part of having pots is sitting, before. you don't just stand up, you just never, it's just a no no. You have to sit, you have to wait, things to calm down and then you can manoeuvre. The important thing is to keep your phone on you when you're like this because if something does happen and you need to call someone. <coughs> This is where we're currently at. Okay, so meds have been done. 
I've got a lovely bag of fluids up. I've put it up over five hours instead of four hours. This happens with TPN too, is if I run it too quickly, it makes me feel really nauseous. Even though I know it's not going into my system, it's going in my veins, it just makes me feel super nauseous sometimes. So I just lower the rate by an hour or two. Um, and plus, I'm not really using it to get my blood pressure up. I'm using it to keep my heart rate down. And I just want to say I am so, so, so thankful to have this like treatment option available to me because I know there's so many of you guys out there that struggle so much every day and I know that struggle I've been in your position and it is just so so awful so I really my heart goes out to you guys that have to suffer and you can't have you can't get fluids because your team don't want to place a line because it's too risky but then you have to suffer and you have no quality of life like I get that and if I wasn't on TPN I probably wouldn't have this available to me either it's only because I've already got the central line that they're like well it doesn't matter now you've already got the line you need the fluids there you go kind of thing so I ended up putting bringing my next medications they're in you can't really tell the tablets are in the bottom of the crusher I've slightly crushed them so that my next dose I don't have to get off I can just do it where I am I got my blood pressure machine this one's just from Boots so I think it was like 20 pounds or something I'll probably check that in a bit to make sure it's better it would most likely be low though because I'm feeling dizzy and because I'm lying down my heart rate isn't going up to try and compensate for the blood pressure so it's probably going to be low and I don't know if I showed you guys what PJs I had on but I've got my little Harry Potter pyjama bottoms and I feel like it goes with this because they're both navy and I've also got a little burger little cheapy pad so cute what did i tell you low blood pressure at least my heart rate's okay though 57 obviously my meds have worked when you're resting that your heart rate will go too low almost um but then when you stand it it's fine because it compensates whatever but sometimes it's like when you're lying down it's like ugh, it's too low but the minute you move you're fine so hey guys so i have not vlogged in a while tpn is running Tom is home now. I'm feeling a bit better, although now I've kind of gone the opposite, where my heart rate's sitting quite low instead of, uh, like, before it was quite high. Um, so you guys remember a couple weeks ago when Tom and I went to the doctors, and Tom, I was telling you guys that he was getting a mole check. He had that today, and he's all in the clear, so yay. I'm just doing a order thing. A lot of you guys asked me how I afford all my medical stuff, and the, question, the answer to that is I do and I don't some stuff i can get fun like funded by the hospital but other stuff we have to buy i've got some split drainage dressings which are the seven and a half by seven and a half that i use they're 20 uh, cents each so i've got 90 of those so that lasts me about two to three months and then i'm trying some of these cavalon barrier wipes because i thought they'd be perfect for me to carry around in my bag when i need to wipe around my stoma what triggered me so much why they're all there Okay, no wonder there's always fingerprints all over the screen. And I've also got some of the swabs, just the plain cotton ones. I thought it would be a lot better to use those when I'm doing my dressing change rather than the cotton wool balls that we have at the moment because they're really hard to like clean the site with because when you try and grip them with the tweezers, you can't grip it properly. Look at this. How cool is that, the packet? So just for reference, guys, these are the two websites that I order off. Independence Australia which is where I'm getting the drainage dressings and those mouth swabs and then Bright Sky where I mostly get my feed stuff from so giving sets, bottles, gravity bag things and stuff like that Tom's upset guys because his flip flop broke today how long have you had them for now? many years <laughs> well you've had them for a minimum of five because you've had them the entire time you've known me well when we've been together you've got to be had them what? ten years or something stupid? Pretty, pretty close to. <laughs> Bloody it's hell. If you wear something every day for 10 years, of course it's going to break. Right. You wear them Imagine a lot. Them, like, what shit this has gone through, literally. <laughs> I can't decipher the, um, the size because it's worn off so much. Well, what size are your other shoes? I think it says 9, it says 9 and then it says 11. But I don't know which ones. Aren't you a UK 9? I think I am a UK 9. So we're currently running more fluids, you can't really see. Thomas, do do the favour and turn the pole around so they can see. Because my blood pressure is low, still. So we've decided to just run them spontaneously. It's currently 9 o'clock. Oh, and uh, we're staffing to at least 1 o'clock. No, we'll just have to stop them early. No, 
need all the fluids you can get. Pom get is worried unnecessarily. I'm concerned. I know, you don't need to be. Are you coming around to take my blood pressure again? Yeah, see if it's lifted. If it's lifted. Horizon of the history. No matter my chances. Itching. Something she got. Fuck it. Tell me how it grows. Because so you pick it and then it makes it a larger area. What here? Like that one there. I didn't pick it, I was trying to get the dry skin off. Yes, it makes it worse. Huzzah. Normal. It's not normal, it's just not in the 80s anymore. <laughs> My bedroom honestly looks a right state right now because I've literally had the like the the quickest mad dash to try and get ready. Because I put something on, I didn't like the way it looked. I'm out of breath. It's Rachel's party today. <laughs> She's turning 22, so Chloe, uh, Chloe, Courtney's on her way to come get me, and then we're both gonna go and get Chloe, and then we're on our way. I'm showing you what I've decided to wear. So, I've gone with some black jeans with black and white bands, with this black and white zebra top, with a black jacket. In case you didn't notice, it, in case you didn't know, it's a um a black and white themed party. So that's why I'm black and white. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. Got all my meds, EpiPen, steroid creams, all that kind of thing. Yeah, my room's a bit of a mess, to say the least. This is my bed, full of black and white items of clothing. I was gonna wear this play suit, what I wore to the EDS conference, but it's kind of too cold. And then I tried putting it on with jeans over the top, and then it didn't look right, and then I had my big boots on, but then I thought it's a bit much. Just wait for Courtney to come pick me up, and then on our way. If I start feeling rubbish again, I will probably leave a bit early, but I want to go at least for a little bit. That's a lot of breath. <sighs> yeah, basically I'm just having uh, struggling with my blood pressure, so we've booked our GP's appointment for tomorrow. We've had to run fluids every single day since thursday which is very unlike me at all um because i literally just couldn't move um and then we ended up running it last night which i'm pretty sure i put in the vlog um like right before we went to bed i'm not gonna take my camera with me but i will if i end up vlogging i'll just vlog on my phone um just because i have got so much medical stuff in my handbag that i can't fit anything else in there yeah i'll see you guys when i get home hope you're well and yeah rachel Happy birthday to you. You gonna blow it out? I guess so. <laughs> Don't fall off the chair. You got three, love. <laughs> Yay! Hey. 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 No lung function problem. Oh, He's just like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, it's You don't have to actually eat it. Oh, well. You're gonna take some time. Yeah. Guys, Tom is actually so thoughtful. He just goes to me, we're watching Brooklyn Nana and he goes, do you want the subtitles on? And I was like, yes. It was okay. Because I literally, if you guys don't know, I have trouble with my hearing. Um, and that's an EDS, like a complication of EDS is hearing loss. And it's something I've been putting off since like last year, like way well before I got admitted. And I need to seriously book in another appointment with one of my hearing doctors because I was they were thinking about getting me hearing aids, but I just never went back. Like I had to miss the appointment because I was in hospital and then I just didn't make another one. So I really need to do that. So I hope you know traditional Chinese, because that's what the subtitles are going to be in. Oh, God. And off we go. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> STD has another meaning. You're gross. No one else is going to think that. No, no Chinese. How about Italian? Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. How creepy is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can show you guys this. Look how creepy this guy's face is. I'm watching the act. It's on Hulu. Hulu? Is that what it's called? Ooh. I keep saying Hulu, but it's Hulu. And I had to download it because I couldn't... Someone gave me their Hulu login, but I couldn't... It wouldn't let me watch it even if I when I had my VPN on. So I ended up just downloading it. I'm watching the act on Hulu, and it's literally so good. And also really, like, scary. It's about uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, if you guys have heard of that story. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but... Oh, yeah, I was saying that I really want to apologise for not being consistent with my vlogs. And I just feel like I go, like, <laughs> a few days where I barely vlog and it's just, like, mushed together. And I just feel like it's not a proper vlog. And I'm just... I just want to okay, check in with you guys and... Wow. 
Shut up. I just want to check in with you guys. I want to know your view on it. Um, are you happy with the vlogs? Are they still enjoyable for you guys? Are they enjoyable for you guys? Because I just feel like I'm letting everyone down. And I just feel like it's not that my heart's not in it. Because I still enjoy it. I'm just really struggling with after the vlog is filmed to get it edited and up. That's where I'm at right now. And I'm just really struggling with my vlogs and editing it and the concentration recently has just not been good. So I really, really apologise if the standard's not what it was. But please let me know what your opinion is on it and how you feel about it. I'm going to end this lot of vlogs here in a second. But we're going to do our things that make you... Hmm. So, welcome to another episode of... Things that make you go... Hmm. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> do you want to do take two? Take two. Take <laughs> two. Things make you go, hmm. <laughs> the Swiss must have been pretty confident of their chances of victory as they included a corkscrew and a bottle opener in their Swiss army knife. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head to bed a sec. Um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow because of this whole blood pressure situation. Which is correct. Which, is which literally, we just took a blood pressure just then and everything seemed fine. Like blood pressure was normal, heart rate was normal. So I swear, if I go to the doctor's tomorrow and everything's fine, I'm gonna be like, ugh. The Lord has cured you <laughs> of pots. <laughs> oh, I'll say that, I wake up tomorrow and have a really bad pots day, so touch wood. Um, but with that said, I do need to go to the doctor's anyway to get um, some prescriptions like refilled and whatnot so it's not a complete waste of a trip but anyway if you guys enjoyed this vlog please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below thank you so much for 70,000 followers followers subscribers because honestly that is insane that was my goal that was like one of my not new year's resolutions but like a goal that I had in my bullet journal to hit 70,000 on this channel and we've not even halfway through the year and we've done it already so thank you guys so so much I love you to bits and I'll see you guys tomorrow Good night.